Hey guys, so, <clears throat> uh, this is my jam from Phantom Stories, and it's March 15th. I don't know the date unless if I scroll down on my phone. So, I'm finally eating my lentil soup. This is actually leftovers <clears throat> that I put in the freezer, and then I want to take it out, put it in the fridge, and then I warm it up. So, this is the first video of the day because even though I went to bed like literally after we did the last video yesterday I still didn't wake up till 1 30 and I actually had my alarm on but I still slept in <laughs> so that was okay though because then I just when I still did laundry and saw the kids, so that's why I haven't been doing any videos. So even though I'm wearing the same clothes, they're washed. <laughs> and I love the feeling of... Mm, clothes when it comes out of the dryer. So nice and warm. So yeah. Since I haven't done a video yet today, I'm like, I better do one because I'm trying to do these come follow me for parts of my days regularly. And I'm actually finding too that since I've been doing them, I've been getting more subscribers, so that's good. So, I hope you guys like these videos. Hmm. And this is a vegan soup. There's spinach in it, carrots, lentils, celery. So yeah, I really did nothing today except for hang out with the kids and do my laundry. <laughs> but it's like almost 7 o'clock now. And I knew I'd be tired like right after I did laundry. So I'm pretty much going to go take a nap after I eat. This isn't all that I'm eating. I also have, still have some spring rolls left over, and I also have a salad on the side. So I do eat salads. And I also, somebody was asking how much water I drink a day. And usually I drink two pot bottles of water. I don't have it here because it's in the kitchen. My lighting was really dark in the kitchen, but they're the, yeah, they're the one liter pop bottles, and I have at least one of those in the morning, and then I have it throughout the day, so I always have water around. And this morning, or this afternoon, I actually had um, only one cup of coffee. And I drank the whole liter of water, and I'm still so tired. So I didn't bother putting my makeup on, because I'm like, I'm just going to go to bed anyways. <laughs> and you guys have seen me with makeup on my without. Undressed up and not dressed up, so. <laughs> but, again, my channel is... I'm trying to show you guys what having an unknown chicken condition is like. So, I'm trying to be more real, so I don't always wear makeup all the time. And I don't always get dressed up. Because that's not life. No, that's not reality. <laughs> mm. So, tomorrow... I think I'm going to bring in the pop bottles because I have a big bag and it's just easier when I take pop bottles in to vacuum and have space and I probably won't record all of that because I've already recorded it before. Mm. And then I'll go get some flour 
So that's why I said nobody donates money or, or lends me money, then it's not bad because I still have pop bottles to bring in. And I kind of really want to do that tomorrow. Just so it's out of the way. And like I said, I don't really need a lot, but if people do donate, it does go towards, like, my debt and, um, living expenses. <laughs> but again, the main reason why I do these videos is to show you guys what it's like having an unknown chicken condition. So, pretty much I sleep <laughs> a lot. <laughs> And actually last night, I was thinking like a lot of people are like, oh, you should try dating, blah, blah, blah. You should try finding somebody so they can help you out. I'm like, I could barely stay awake all day. So how the heck am I going to find time and manage to date on top of that? I mean, it's really hard, so, just life on myself, so, I know people are like, well, maybe I'll meet somebody who's a homebody offline, and they like to sleep all day, and they could help you, like, buy things and stuff like that, and I'm just like, yeah, but people are freaking nuts nowadays, <laughs> like, the last three dates that I've been on, which I've already said a few times, they were very um aggressive and like they because they know they knew that i went to sleep with them they were like trying to attack me but i didn't let them because we were in public and that was two different guys and then the last guy before that that i was friends with he ghosted me so It's like, it's just a waste of time, in my opinion. Like, I really hope to meet, still meet my crush and hang out with him. And if that ever happened, I would, I would like to make the effort, but just right now, like, for a relationship and to like date and all that it's just really hard when i'm sleeping every five hours and i have to be careful of my time and it's really hard to even meet up with friends and stuff like that so i mean yeah maybe eventually i'll find somebody offline but i'm not that's not a priority right now right now it's focusing on my health and my unknown chicken condition and trying to live around it and, like I said, I do have a crush, so whatever I feel down, I just watch his channel. I left him, like, 70 comments. I feel kind of bad, though, in a way, <laughs> for doing that. But then, in a way, I think it will, he'll like it because, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, guys like it to hear when they think, when you have a crush on them and when you, when you think, when... You think they're hot it's not like i'm like leaving comments every single day or like <clears throat> stalking him or anything like that so it's just yeah when once in a while i mean i've already left so many comments so now i probably won't leave anymore because it's i've left so many already <laughs> And I'm like, if he wants to contact me, he can. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. He's not the only guy that I like. I do like Oliver Moy. I like uh, Ryan Nugent. From North Star Boys. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> that's how I occupy my time. Kind of like if I feel lonely or whatever. Then I just watch their YouTube channels. And then they make me feel good. And... Yeah, so that's that's what I do when I feel lonely. 
which I really don't know because, like I said, half of the time I'm sleeping and I have my cats and my cats sleep on the bed with me and yeah, just dating right now, it's, uh, yeah, not really a thing. And I've had so many bad stories even before, like, this condition and some good stories, but like I said, my health is more important, and that's why I focus on YouTube, because when I do these follow me thing for the day things, it kind of takes up my time. Um, it makes me feel like I'm not alone so much, um, except for when people leave mean comments about not asking for money and blah blah blah, even though, or giving up my cats, even though everybody does it on YouTube, I'm not the only one that asks for money, and I don't have sponsorship and stuff like that, but, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm not the only one that does it, and that's why I go, but that's why I use YouTube, because it's more of an outlet, and to, like, share my life with people, and I'm hoping maybe one day somebody will see my YouTube channel, and then we'll meet up that way, maybe Ryan, <laughs> but, who knows, I mean, anything could happen, right? Like, when I go to Victoria, I could end up meeting somebody. Um, but right now, I'm just focused on myself, and I'm, I love being alone. I'm not lonely. Like, even before COVID happened, I was a homebody, and most of my relationships I've met offline. So, well, it's not that big of a deal. I just, yeah, when I go out smoking, that's when I watch YouTube channels, so I don't even like going plenty of fish or anything like that anymore, just because it's, to me, it's a waste of time, um, there's too many times where I've been played, and too many times where I met up with guys, and they're abusive, and I, I, yeah, I just don't want to go through that again, and I know, like, if I'm supposed to be with somebody, it will happen. It's just, I'm not going to put all the work into it like I used to because I have a condition. I mean, back in the day, it was different. I could date guys every two weeks. <laughs> and sometimes I date two guys at once, but now I can't do that because I'm always sleeping and trying to just get by on my own. So... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have somebody who would help, but again, there's a lot of people are selfish nowadays, unfortunately. I mean, I mean, even I'm selfish, and I say that because it's true. I mean, I'm not, if I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to think about them 24 7 because I got my own shit that I got to deal with. So, and a lot of people don't like that because a lot of people are like, oh, I want to talk to you every single day or I want to come see you every single day. And I'm just like, dude, I'm sleeping, man. <laughs> so, sometimes, I mean, I know, like I said, I know that there are a lot of relationships where uh, people help other people on disability. It's just that I haven't found that person yet. And... I kind of like being independent and having things my own way, so if it never happens, it's fine because I want to travel and I want to do stuff with my life still. So, it's just weird though how 20 years ago things were so different. <laughs> and then like, before I met my last ex, I was literally a player and then, um... Like, I didn't sleep around with different guys. I just dated with different guys. And <clears throat> then we got together, and then I stopped being a, that lifestyle. And then I ended up being screwed over anyways. And he ended up kept going out with different girls. And it's just like, here I was the player. <laughs> and I even passed down the guy that I had a crush on, Jared like over and over again because of my ex even when we weren't together and when we were together and it's just like yeah kind of kind of sucks now now we can't be to now we, we can't be together but 
Uh, not my ex, my other crush, Jared, um, cause he has a girlfriend, so, and he's happy, so that's good, but it just sucks that I constantly, uh, but didn't follow through with things, and when I don't cheat on other people, I always end up cheated, so, it's just weird though how my lifestyle changed for somebody, and then I just got screwed over anyway, so. It's like, uh, I've been, I think that's another reason why I want to be on my own, even though, like, I do have crushes, like, I could say I have a crush on Ryan and Oliver and, and the other Ryan, lots of Ryans, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, I lost my train of thought because I'm so tired, but yeah, just, just not really looking to date, and, like, if things happen, they'll happen, but, yeah. I'm, I'm happy being on my own, and I'm happy that I can sleep whenever I want, and I don't have to deal with anybody else, and it's just me, so. <clears throat> and the cats. <laughs> but, some people have to be in a relationship, and I'm not one of those people. I, I prefer being on my own and that's why when I was a player I'd only date two people for like two weeks and I let them know ahead of time too I'm like this is only going to happen for two weeks you know because <clears throat> I don't want to stay in the same relationship <laughs> for too long and I think yeah my longest relationship was actually my my last ex which was a year and a half and then we were like technically on and off for like two years but I say more like a year and a half on and off oh, well half of the time like we weren't too he, it was long distance anyway so and that's another another reason too why I've always preferred long distance relationships is because I don't want to be around like 24 7 and so I'm like I hope you understand that ahead of time because I like I said, even if you lived here, I wouldn't see you, like, every single day. Just because, even before my condition, I just want to be on my own sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't like you, it just means that I like to be on my own sometimes, so. Well, I mean, I brought Loli, I got my cats, I got my friends, um... I have my crushes, and when I feel down, I watch their channels, so that's why I keep telling them they inspire me, and they encourage me to do YouTube as well, so, um, they're a big influence, but, yeah, just, some people just like to be single, and <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw that sign, but, yeah, it's hanging up, but it says single and awesome. And I actually wrote on top that it's hanging by my tree, but it says single equals freedom. <laughs> single equals freedom. And then it says freedom. Because <laughs> that's literally how I feel. When I'm not in a relationship, I feel like it's freedom for me. You're not thinking about anyone else but yourself. And why would I want to give that up? I mean, that's... That's just how I feel, <laughs> but, but, again, I like to, like, I just like having my own world kind of thing, and if somebody comes around, cool, if nobody does, it's not the end of the world, so I've been on my own for quite a long time, three years now, <clears throat> and I'm still loving it, I, I still love the single life, um, I don't have anybody bugging me when I'm sleeping, I don't have to turn my TV. I don't have to go see anyone. If I want to stay home all week, I can. Because I don't have to go out and see people. So, or go see my partner. Or have them come here. So, it's just, just easier for me. So, yeah, I don't know if I, if I didn't have the condition, maybe things would be different. But, I don't think too much. Because I'd probably just be traveling a lot. <laughs> Because I still want to do that. Like, I still want to go to Seattle. I still want to go to um, Victoria, which I'm doing in a few weeks. 
And I still want to go to Japan one day, and I want to go to all these places, so... Yeah, it's just... I mean, I like being alone, so I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I've always been on my own, and I always prefer being on my own, because I can do what I want when I want, and I don't have to worry about anyone or think about anyone. And if I get lonely, I got my crushes, and I got my cats, and life is good. <laughs> so on that note, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to bed after I eat my spring rolls and salad. But I do eat salad, and I do eat fruit and vegetables and stuff. I just don't show it, because it's boring. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's why I go. Um, but, and I do drink a lot of water. I'm trying to drink more water now. And I'm actually trying to drink cold water, too. So, but it still doesn't really help me staying awake. And like I said, for, I only had one cup of coffee today and like two, two liters of water. Three, actually, two liters and a half already. And I'm still worn out, so water does not help. <laughs> I mean, it does help, but it doesn't help my situation, unfortunately. But I do, I am trying to drink more water. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it off. I'll have you guys follow me around the place today uh, when I wake up. Probably not till like 9, because <laughs> it's like 7 o'clock now, and I'm so freaking tired. Even though I haven't really done anything, but I'm just tired, tired, tired. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, but I am going to try to go out tomorrow just so I could, uh, get some flour and bring in the pop bottles, and, yeah, we'll see. But I'm falling asleep, <laughs> as you could tell. So, I'm going to end this video off, but, um, oh, there's this new channel, I forget her name. I have to look. I'll link it in my next video, but she lives up in the mountains, and I've been watching it because I'm like, oh, she's so lucky. <laughs> she lives on her own in the mountains where it's nice and cool and quiet, and the only problem, though, is that you have to know how to drive, and I don't know how to drive, so I can't live like that. As much as I wish I could and I want to, it's just that I don't drive, so I can't, <laughs> and I don't want to learn how to drive. And it just costs too much money. And it's one more thing that I gotta do. And I'm like, nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be out here again. So, um, remember, this is follow me for the day. Uh, it's a little late. Uh, but like I said, I had family and I did laundry. Now I'm gonna take a nap. And I hope you guys like watching me eat. <laughs> I actually like the mukbangs, and it actually makes me hungry when I watch it, so it's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, so stay posted. I will update, uh, throughout, throughout the rest of the day and tomorrow. And every other day, because that's what I do now, and I enjoy it. It's fun. And, like I said, it gives me an outlet, and it makes me not feel so alone, so... Thank you guys for watching, and like, share, comment, subscribe, donate if you can, and come follow me for parts of my day, every day, here on Phantom Stories OG.